the first question that I have for you um, has nothing to do with you. It has to do with BJ Hill's haircut. Do you like it? What do you think of it? First of all, I'm glad he kept his word. He's a man of his word. I was on, I'm not gonna lie, I was on his butt when he cut it. Cause I was like, I was like, like he got a round head. It, you could start to see like his real head shape, you know? But his hair grows back fast. But I, I, don't, I didn't think it was bad on him. Like it was actually kind of fit him, you know? So I like it. <laughs> I almost wonder if he's taking that vitamin that women take, hair, skin and nails. Grow fast. Either that or beet juice. A lot of people don't know beet juice make your hair grow fast. I drink beet juice like four to five days a week. My hair been growing like crazy, for real. I had no idea that that made your hair grow. Beet juice. Because I started drinking beet juice every day because it gives you energy. And then once I actually looked it up, like hair growth, beet juice like speeds up your hair growth. I was like, dang, that's why my hair growing. Because I was like, my hair is growing really fast. Then I actually realized like, Beet juice works. It really works. <laughs> that secret's going to get out, and now everyone's going to start drinking beet juice because you just said that. For real. You should. I'm telling you. Beet juice. All right. I've got to ask you. It's You just mentioned off-camera. It was your first off-season, full off-season. Um, I know Zach is one of the coaches that likes to go a little bit lighter in the off-season. Um, how does that work for you? Is it better for your body? Is it um, just easier on your joints, I guess, leading into the full season? It's definitely it's definitely better on your body. I, like When I first got here last year, my rookie year, I was like, I always wanted to like work and grind and push, push, push. And like all the vets, all the vets are telling me like, Zach, it's a marathon. Like it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's a long season. I didn't understand it until we went through. Got about November. We still got half the season, and we went to December. We didn't finish till February. So it didn't like hit me for real until after the season. So I'm like, wow, it really is a marathon. So I think Coach Zach does a great job of like making sure guys are taken care of, fully healthy. You know, the last the last two seasons we made it. We made it to the Super Bowl AFC Championship, so those are long seasons, you know. So it's it's good for the guys, and like it's mentally refreshing and physically refreshing. You were grinding last off season. At what point in the season we were you like, dang, I messed up. <laughs> I was grinding way too hard in May and June. <laughs> I wouldn't say I I wouldn't say I, I messed up, you know, but like it was a point in the season like it kind of clicked in my head like, dang, you guys are right, like. You don't gotta, you don't gotta kill yourself, and obviously you gotta get your work most definitely. But it's a marathon, you know. Pace it out. Make sure you get your work though, definitely. It seems like um, Zach places a lot of importance on chemistry and guys bonding and you know growing together. Um, what can chemistry do for a team when you guys? Because you guys are all obviously extremely talented at what you do. When there's chemistry on a team, how does that change um, just the outcome, in your opinion? I just feel like when you when a team has chemistry, it just adds like another level of confidence. Like I know that guy, I go, I know that guy next to me. Like that's my, that's my guy. Like I know he got my back. You know, it just and then on the field, you know, you just having you just having fun with your guys, and it's just something about chemistry. Like it's like one of the first. D lines I've been on that like actually got really good chemistry, you know, like we were a really tight group. And I that was my first year last year and I still got the experience that so you know, you're only gonna get closer and keep growing, so it just elevates your play on the field, it really does. Do you think that going into year two also, I mean you already have one year under your belt, do you think that that also helps you play a little bit faster, recognize things a lot quicker? How much different is even this off season compared to last off season with not the workload but just mentally? Mentally, that's what I. That's kind of what I had to learn. Like this game, this game, 90% mental, especially on this level. Like even practice, like you spend more time in the meeting rooms than you do on the actual field during the week. Like even during the season. So just going through that first year, I feel so much mentally sharp. Like I just know, like I'm gonna play faster this year. Like I'm gonna be. I know what to look for. I'm not. I'm not thinking too much. Like that was that was one of my biggest things last year, just thinking too much instead of just reacting. And it's kind of like that first year, that first year in college again. But like, I wish I started. I wish I. I wish I started a little faster. But I'm definitely like that jump. That that jump from year one to year two is usually the biggest jump. So I'm looking forward to that.
not that you lacked confidence at all last year, but does that Im make your confidence skyrocket when you already know what to do? You're physically ready for it, mentally ready for it. Everything just seems to click. It make it just it makes it it makes your play go to another level. Cause like I already know I I got it physically. It's that mental part. Now that I got that, just ride that out. You know, put in some more, put in some more. Um, Film study this year, you know, just all the little things that I learned last year, apply that, sky's the limit.